Berkeley High School has been the rock for our community for over 107 years. Over that time, she has seen the world change many times over, from wars to the Great Depression, civil strife, through good times and bad, Berkeley High School has always been there. She has produced lawyers, doctors, national entertainers, politicians, civic leaders, small business owners, and everything in between. Even now during this world crisis, our stags are on the front lines in hospitals, in research labs, and doing every essential job known. So to those who graduated, to the class of 2020, and for those yet to come, Always know, no matter what, in these uncertain times, Berkeley will be with you. Students today, leaders tomorrow, and stags forever should mean more now than ever before. Your country road will always carry you home to Berkeley. Welcome to Berkeley High School Senior Awards Night. We gather today in celebration and to give thanks. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for this day and for the wisdom to recognize our gifts and serve you with gratitude. Bless these graduates as they pursue their dreams in unexpected ways. Provide them with the courage to move beyond fear and doubt, to find strength in their capacity to care for others and to respect the diversity of humankind. Help them to be mindful that true success is born of meaningful relationships and a community that embraces peace and justice. Through your gracious spirit, we ask you to bless them with patience as they explore new horizons, bless them with humility in the face of success and abundance, bless them with compassion for the poor, the sick, and the suffering, bless them with generosity in the midst of challenges to come, 
and bless them with gratitude for friends, mentors, and family who have supported them throughout this journey. And bless us all, friends, family, faculty, mentors, and supporters, as we share in the joy of their accomplishments. Amen. Please join us for the presentation of scholarships for the class of 2020. Hi, I'm Kay Myers, and this is a special year for the Katherine Cox Caldwell Scholarship. Many of you seniors were in her class the year she passed away. She was an excellent teacher, a genius, and an angel. This year, our scholarship is for $600, and our winner is Gracie Steele. Congratulations, Gracie. I know you'll do well at Carolina. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lane Walford of the Monts Corner Lions Club, and I'm very honored to be here to present the winner of the 2020 Monts Corner Lions Club, Josh Swicord Memorial Scholarship. The Lions Club was founded here in Monts Corner in 1945. We are a service organization, and one of our big things is I, I care, and we I screen, and we screen more than 6,000 students in the Berkeley County School District this year alone. So that's something we're very proud of, along with this scholarship. And this scholarship is very personal to me. Josh Whitecord was one of my best friends growing up, and he left us too soon with a brain tumor, and I'm very proud that our organization is able to memorialize him each year with this scholarship. So when you win this one, it, it's, it's a big deal to a lot of us here in town, and it's something we hope you take with you when you leave here. So this year's winner of the Monts Corner Lions Club Josh Whitecourt Scholarship goes to Miss Allison Hewitt. Congratulations, Allison. Hi, I'm Lane Walford with the Berkeley High School Athletic Booster Club. First and foremost, I wanna congratulate the whole class of 2020. You guys have been through a lot this year and it hasn't been easy for you, but we've noticed how well you've handled it with dignity and class. And I wanna commend all of you on that this year and wish you much success in the future. From the Booster Club, we present one scholarship each year. This scholarship is based on a formula for the number of sports you played during your high school career, as well as your GPA. So we try to award it to the ultimate student athlete. This year's winner of the 2020 Berkeley High School Athletic Booster Club scholarship goes to Kennedy Yance. Congratulations, Kennedy. Hello, my name is Adriana President, Berkeley High School alumni, class of 2018. I am currently a student enrolled at the University of Alabama, where I am majoring in communications and minoring in management. In 2018, I was the Blue and Gold Alumni Scholarship Award winner. The Blue and Gold Alumni was founded by Brian Griffin, who is also an alumni of Berkeley High School. The mission of the organization is we honor, we empower, we unite. To this date, Blue, the Blue and Gold Alumni has awarded over $6,000 of scholarships to multiple schools in the Low Country. The Blue and Gold Alumni scholarship funds are raised through sponsorships, donations, and fundraisers. The Blue and Gold Alumni would like to congratulate Berkeley High School's Class of 2020 on all of their achievements and continued success. Now, to present the 2020 Blue and Gold Alumni Scholarship winner, the winner is Morgan Mack. Congratulations, Morgan. Hello, Berkeley High School. My name is Carl Kroll with the Charleston Engineers Joint Council. We are a local nonprofit here in the Low Country with a three part mission. One, to inspire low country youth. Two, to be an advocate of low country STEM programs. And three, to act as a catalyst that creates synergies between our member societies, our local industry partners, and other educational institutions. I am here today to present our 2020 CEJC scholarship. This scholarship goes to a deserving graduating high school senior who has been accepted into an engineering or technology program. And this year's 2020 CEJC scholarship in the amount of $1,500 goes to Miss Madison Mobley. All right, Madison, give it up for Madison. Madison plans on attending USC's aerospace engineering program in the fall. Madison, our council is so happy to support you in furthering your education in engineering and know you will be successful in achieving all your dreams. Congrats again, Madison, and congrats to all you 2020 Berkeley High School seniors. Go get them. I'm Craig Mims with the Berkeley High School Athletic Hall of Fame. 
Our Hall of Fame was established in 2012 to remember and honor former student athletes, coaches, and administrators who have been instrumental in our school's distinguished athletic success over the years. A couple of years later, our committee started a Hall of Fame scholarship program as a way to recognize and reward current stag student athletes for excellence both on and off the field. This will be our seventh year of awarding two $2,500 scholarships funded by a golf tournament we normally hold each April. It's been postponed until May 28th due to COVID-19. We couldn't do it without the golfers and hole sponsors who support us year in and year out, and we're very thankful to them. Now I'd like to announce the 2020 Hall of Fame scholarship recipients. First up, Kennedy Yance. Kennedy plans to attend Clemson University in the fall. Our second Hall of Fame scholarship recipient is Stephen Jones. Stephen will also be attending Clemson. Congratulations to our 2020 Berkeley Athletic Hall of Fame scholarship recipients and to the class of 2020. Best wishes with your future endeavors. Hello everyone at Berkeley High. My name is Kate Lilly and I'm an account manager at the Red Cross. I'm here today to present Morgan Mack with her Red Cross scholarship for helping us save lives with blood drives. She has earned a scholarship for the amount of $500 for her hard work. Morgan has worked in a team. She has formed a team and a committee. She has shown tremendous leadership skills. And through those skills, through this academic year, she has helped the Red Cross, her and her teammates, collect 76 units of blood. That is enough blood to save over 200 lives. We are so thankful and we are so blessed to have Berkeley High on our Red Cross team. Thank you, Morgan, and thank you, Berkeley High. We love you. Good evening. My name is Brittany Colley, and I'm the beta sponsor at Berkeley High School. National Beta Club, headquartered in South Carolina, recognizes outstanding young people in 39 states, the District of Columbia, China, Hungary, Puerto Rico, and Russia. National Beta encourages its members to continue education beyond high school. They do this through their National Scholarship Program. Today we are honored to have three students who were selected as National Beta Scholarship recipients. Beta members are not only high academic achievers, they are also leaders and service-minded individuals. While grades and SAT and ACT scores help determine beta scholars, it's the leadership and service activities to, as betas that draw the winners to the top. With over 500,000 members, three of our own were selected as the top 250 betas in the country this year. These students exemplify the beta ideals of academic achievement, leadership, character, and service, and are clearly outstanding members of the class of 2020. Congratulations to Arlie Johnson, Stephen Jones, and Haley Thompson, who were chosen as National Beta Scholarship winners. These students received a $1,000 check to the college of their choice. I am extremely proud of these students. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Mike Troxell. I'm president of the Berkeley High School Academic Booster Club. The purpose of the Academic Booster Club is to promote academic excellence at Berkeley High School. And today, I am privileged to be able to award to six students scholarships raised by the Academic Booster Club. First, each receiving a $1,000 scholarship is Kennedy Yance, Madison Mobley, and Noah Thomas. Next, receiving a $1,500 scholarship is Morgan Steele. Finally, receiving $2,000 each will be Stephen Jones and Mary Sherman. Congratulations to these students. Well done, and thank you for your hard work. Hey, class of 2020, congratulations on your awards tonight. Miss Smalley here coming to you live from the beach on the computer that is. Uh, we're gonna keep the awards night going with highest averages in CTE classes. Uh, my highest average in Auto Tech 3 is Braden Blanthorn. Our highest average in Welding 3, Jonathan Messing. Highest average in Welding 4, Wyatt Williams. 
highest average in building construction two, Jalen Abbott. Highest average in building construction three, Philip Dalton Thomas. Highest average in principles of engineering design, Madison Mobley. Highest average in digital electronics, Taylor Venman. Highest average in health science two, Morgan Mack. Highest average in health science three, Morgan Mack again. Okay, I see you, Morgan. Highest average in sports medicine two, McKaylin Limehouse. Highest average in sports medicine three, Michaela Dupree. Highest average in personal finance, John Ard. Highest average in business finance, DeAndre Ferguson. Highest average in fundamentals of computing, Sophia Riley. Highest average in fundamentals of web page design, Hannah Shelby. Highest average in entrepreneurship, Shakira Virgil. And we have two department award of excellence. The first one is the business department award of excellence awarded to Hannah Shelby. Go Hannah, that's my girl there. And the highest award for CTE is the CTE department award of excellence. And that award is awarded to two lovely young ladies, Hannah Shelby and Morgan Mack. Go, ladies. Woohoo! All right, congratulations to all of our CTE students. On behalf of the CTE department, I would like to recognize those students who are CTE completers. A completer is a student who has taken three or four classes in a specific discipline and earning an honor cord. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. And your 2020 health science completers are Cheyenne Bennick, Azaria Bryant, Faith Cameron, Madison Chick, Savannah Clark, Rhodesia Ferguson, Hannah Fuller, Sarah Higgins, Yanesha Hawkins, Ashley Kirkland, Kayla Lell, Morgan Mack, Daisha McHoney, Victoria Messing, Diamond Morris, Olivia Morris, Savannah Rivers, Shelby Sullivan, Diashane Templeman, Noah Thomas, Janine Valera, and Kiana Webb. Winning sports medicine completers are Michaela Dupree, Bianna Singleton, Kiana Webb, Caitlin Powers, and Taylor Lofton. 20 automotive technology completers are Braden Blanthorn, William Savage, Charles Sly, and Joey Chavez. T welding completers are Bryson Frazier, Randy Seaton, Marcos Corrada, Wyatt Williams. Bailey Mullinax, Tyler Lambert, Jonathan Messing, Christopher Metz, Logan Knight, Timothy Cooper, and William Morris. Building construction completers are Jalen Abbott, Philip Thompson, Christopher Metz, Drake Kennington, and Charles Burbage. 20 pre-engineering completers are Philip Foster, John Valentine, Taylor Venemum, Wyatt Williams, and Kobe Morris. 20 business completers are John Ard, Brandon Brabham, Jules Brown, Russell Brown, Leslie Bryant, Adriana Cords, Jedediah Hudson, Joseph Limehouse, Brianna Mack, Emery Newman, 
Jacob or Krishna Patel. Paola Santiago, Randy Seaton, Hannah Shelby, Nathan Smith, and Elijah Willis. Congratulations, Berkeley High School Class of 2020. I'm Ms. Concanon and I am presenting the awards for the English department. We'll begin with grammar. The award for grammar goes to Natalie Martinez. Speech. The award goes to Hunter Powers. Theory of Knowledge, Stephen Cruz. Also, IB English, Stephen Cruz. Children's Literature. The award goes to Devante Gordine. Creative Writing CP, Caitlin James. Creative Writing Honors, Precious White. AP English Language and Composition goes to Parker Adcox. The award for English 4 CP goes to Shakira Virgil. English 4 Honors, Brittany Wiggins. And the English Department Award of Excellence goes to Gracie Steele. Congratulations, seniors. Hello, Berkeley High School. I'm Mrs. Del Signore, your Director of Bands, and it is my privilege to present the Fine Arts Department Awards for 2020. First, the Academic Awards. In Art 1, Haley Harper. In Orchestra 4, Haley Schumann. In Music Appreciation, Madison Windham. In Band 2, Zane Mack and Emily Harris. In Band 3, Cassidy Denny. In Band 4, Nathan Nielsen. In Color Guard 3, Grant Jaworski. And in Color Guard 4, Jamie Beach. Now, the Department Awards of Excellence. The Art Department Award of Excellence will go to Haley Navarro. The Theater Department Award of Excellence will go to Tristan Campbell. The Orchestra Department Award of Excellence will go to Emily Harris. The Choral Department Award of Excellence will go to Mary Logan Abramson. And the Band Department Award of Excellence will go to Cassidy Denny. Congratulations, graduates. I'm Ms. Ernst, Spanish teacher. And today I will be awarding two outstanding students for the World Language Senior Award Ceremony. Um, those two students demonstrated a high quality of work, ethic, and the highest grade in class. I really, really believe that they're going to have a bright future ahead of them. Uh, to start, we have, we're going to start with, French, with the French department. And for French one, we have, we have the students, the student, Alison Rugalski. Alison is a very outstanding student. I happen to know her when she was a freshman. She started with Spanish, then she moved to the French class, and overall, she's a great student. Good job, Alison. Um, now, <clears throat> we want to get our Spanish, and for Spanish 4, we have our student, Sean Cruz. Good job, Sean. Sean has demonstrated and over uh, outstanding work in class, a very persistent, and um, he excelled for the highest. Um, please help me to congratulate them. They did an excellent job in this situation, working every day, doing their tasks and assignments. Um, I really miss you guys a lot and have a wonderful day. Greetings from Berkeley High School. My name is Mr. Wright. I'll be announcing our JROTC Award of Excellence. And the JROTC Award of Excellence goes to Ethan Pitt. Congratulations, Ethan, and congratulations to the class of 2020. 
Good evening again. I will now be presenting the Math Departmental Awards. Receiving the highest average in IB Math is Haley Thompson. Receiving the highest average in AP Statistics is Austin Colley. Receiving the highest average in Calculus CP is Madison Windham. Receiving the highest average in Probability and Statistics is McCartney Sowell. And receiving the highest average in Discrete Math is Hannah Shelby. Each year, the math department selects one student to receive the Math Excellence Award. This student goes above and beyond in the classroom and is selected by the math faculty at Berkeley High School. I have personally had the pleasure of teaching this young lady for the past two years and have seen one-on-one -on -one her love of mathematics. This year, the Math Excellence Award goes to Haley Thompson. Greetings! Coach Peace, I will be presenting the senior awards for the PE department. But before I get into that, I just wanted to share how amazing I think the class of 2020 is. Um, you guys have had to face a lot of adversity this particular school year. Um, but we are finally able to say that you're here. You're a class that you, you will never be forgotten. Ever, ever, ever ever be forgotten because of the things that have transpired but I want to say kudos to those of you who were able to push through continue to get your assignments done at home um, that speaks volumes about you um, and I wish you all the best of luck in the next um, phase of your lives I'm going to get into the awards our first award is going to uh, Jabari Rory for driver's ed okay our second award will be going to Emily Bowers for our health class. Our third award will be going to um, Jordan Colnat, PE4 Sports Training. Jordan, you have been in my prayers, buddy. Just keep pushing, keep grinding, doing whatever you got to do to get back. Um, our next award will be going to Hunter Powers for PE4 Varsity Sports. Our last award, last but not least, goes to um, a student who's proven academic excellence over the course of four years, taking weight training, etc., maintaining your grades in the classroom as well. And that last award is going to Jake Dunn. Guys, congratulations on everything these awards continue to do great continue to represent the stags to the best of your ability um, as you continue with your future endeavors it's coach peace i'm out <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Amy Campbell. I'm representing the science department and uh, just wanted to take a second and say that the science department is so proud of all of you guys. We know that you're gonna be a special group of people to have gone through all of this and that this is preparing you to do really great things. So just know that we all believe in you and we're all behind you. So let me go ahead and announce um, the awards that we have uh, for AP Bio. Um, the award for AP Bio goes to Haley Elizabeth Thompson. Um, for Anatomy and Physiology, the award goes to two people, Austin St. Clair Coffey and Dorothy Marie Kraft. Um, the award for CP Physics goes to Dalron Vaughn. Um, the award for Honors Physics goes to Jeffrey Ray Ziegler. The Science Award for Marine Biology it goes to Jameson Elizabeth Beach. The award for Forensics goes to Haley Nicole Schumann. The award for Environmental Science goes to Caitlin Abriel Christmas. And the Science Department Award um, to the student that the Science Department voted on as the most outstanding um, science student this year senior science student goes to Mary Claire Sherman 
All right, guys, remember we believe in you. You're going to do great things. Uh, we look forward to seeing you and seeing how all of that goes. Congratulations. Hey everyone, Miss Klein here. I am here to present this year's Senior Award. So let's get started. Um, starting with our CP courses, our American Government CP Award goes to Tyler Ballard. Our Economics CP Award goes to Tyler Ballard. Our Psychology CP Award goes to Hunter Powers. And our Sociology CP Award goes to Tristan Campbell. Moving on to our Honors courses, the American Government Honors Award goes to Kaylee West, and the Economics Honors Award goes to Marshall Bering. Our AP US History Award goes to Brittany Wiggins, and our Teacher Cadet One Award goes to Hannah Wren, and our Teacher Cadet Two Award goes to Shelby McCutcheon. Finally, the Social Studies Award of Excellence is awarded to Stephen Jones. Again, on behalf of the entire social studies department, I just wanna say congratulations to all of the graduates. We are very proud of you and we wish each of you nothing but the best and success in your future. Take care, go Stags. Hi, um, congratulations class of 2020. I'm here to present um, the seniors that are earning their academic letters this year for the first time. And those academic letters go to Parker Edcox, Marshall Berry, Emily Bowers, Azariah Bryant, Tristan Campbell, Dorothy Kraft, Astrid Herrera, Madison Jones, Jordan Colnat, William Morris, Allison Rogolsky, Gabriel Schmidt, Keelan Scott, Philip Thompson, Shakira Virgil, Torrance Virgil, Courtney Weeks, and Carmen Womble. And those who received their academic letter last year and were receiving their first academic bar this year are Tyler Ballard, Braden Blanthor Blanthorne, Jaquez Cancer, Madison Chick, Sean Cruz, Moya Fordes, Reese Glasshoff, Willis Hall, Haley Harper, Emily Harris, Caitlin James, Atisha Jenkins, Arlie Johnson, Kayla Lale, Madison Little, Aaliyah Lopez, Jordan Oliver, Ethan Tent, Taylor Veneman, Kylie West, Brittany Wiggins, and Hannah Wren. And for those students receiving their second academic bar, Natalie Billups, Valerie Fain, Lindsay Keller, Ashley Kirkland, Sebastian Lopez, Shelby McCutcheon, Brian Miller, Madison Mobley, Alyssa Morrell, Haley Schumann, McCartney Sowell, Morgan Steele, Janine Valera, William West, and Madison Wyndham. And finally, for those seniors who have earned their third academic bar, Mary Logan Abrahamson, Haley Baker, Russell Brown, Nora Brunn, Kylie Cauldron, Mackenzie Cole, Austin Colley, Jacob Dunn, Zahira Green, Stephen Jones, Sophia Riley, Hannah Shelby, Mary Sherman, Haley Thompson, Emily Willis, and Kennedy Yonts. Congratulations. Hi there, class of 2020. Ms. Crib just wants to say how proud she is of you and that I'm gonna miss all of you so, so much. Um, come by and visit me often. Um, I'm going to be presenting right now the awards for those seniors who've earned all gold cards 
for the year 2019-2020. And those students are Haley Baker, Russell Brown, Kylie Cauldron, Austin Colley, Sean Cruz, Emily Harris, Arlie Johnson, Stephen Jones, Brian Miller, Madison Mobley, Isabella Rice, Sophia Riley, Hannah Shelby, Mary Sherman, Morgan Steele, Haley Thompson, William West, Brittany Wiggins, Haley Wren, and Kennedy Yarns. Congratulations, you guys. Hello, Berkeley High School class of 2020. I'm Miss Blees, or some of you know me as Miss Jackson, and I am going to announce Mr. and Miss Berkeley High School. Every year, Berkeley High School teachers, guidance counselors, and administrators nominate one senior boy and one senior girl that they believe exemplify the spirit of BHS to be recognized as Mr. and Miss Berkeley High School. In addition to academic excellence, nominees for this honor should possess qualities of leadership, integrity, honesty, compassion, loyalty, responsibility, selflessness, dedication, respectfulness, and school pride. It is with great pleasure that I announce Miss Berkeley High School for the class of 2020, Morgan Gracie Steele. Congratulations, Morgan. We know that you will represent BHS well. And Mr. Berkeley High School for the class of 2020 is Noah Daquan Thomas. Congratulations, Noah. We know that you will also represent Berkeley High School well. And to the class of 2020, know that we are always here for you. And remember, students today, leaders tomorrow, stags forever. Good evening, everyone, and congratulations to the class of 2020. My name is Jennifer Schley. I have had the privilege to sponsor Student Government Association here at Berkeley High School for the past few years. SGA is a member of the National Student Council Association and an organization dedicated to creating events that unite students and maintain the traditions of Berkeley High School. These students give their time and their energy to make sure that all students at Berkeley have the opportunity to participate and feel united. The class of 2020 will always hold a very special place in my heart. Their first day at Berkeley High School was also my first day at Berkeley High School. My first extracurricular activity was becoming their freshman class sponsor. I have been honored and humbled to work with this class. They have surprised me every year with their dedication, spirit, hard work, intelligence, and creativity. I promise you, the class of 2020, that you will be remembered. You have helped me to understand, honor, and create traditions at Berkeley High School, and I will carry those into the future of SGA and Berkeley High. From your very first homecoming, to your last and all the moments in between, you have served the students of Berkeley High School well. You have led and we have followed you have become part of the legacy that is student government in Berkeley High School. This year, unfortunately, our traditional powder puff game was canceled due to the current pandemic. However, it has been decided that the honorary winners of powder puff 2020 will be the class of 2020. Congratulations. Tonight, I also have the privilege of recognizing one senior from the class of 2020 as our star senior. The star senior award is given to the SGA member of the senior class that has shown the most outstanding qualities of leadership, participation, and dedication to the members of student government and Berkeley High School. This year's recipient has led her class from freshman to senior year. She has answered every call I've made, participated in every event, 
and has been generally my go-to girl for the last four years. She is unique, intelligent, hardworking, and represents Berkeley High School with class, respect, and style. I am sure great things await her in the future. It is my privilege to announce this year's Star Senior Award goes to Morgan Grace Steele. Thank you and congratulations to all the senior class members of SGA and Berkeley High School. Please remember that while you are students today, you are our leaders of tomorrow, but you will always be stags forever. On the first day of freshman year, we entered the doors of Berkeley High School, not knowing what the next four years would hold. As we experienced our first football game, pep rally and homecoming parade, we had no clue how fast high school would fly by. Freshman year was all about making friendships that would stand the test of time. And by winning second place in the homecoming parade, we did just that. But in the blink of an eye, our first year of high school was over. We survived two hurricanes, we started to drive, and even mourned the death of a national hero named Harambe. Soon we found ourselves in the middle of sophomore year. We got our first parking pass and Beto won their state championship for the third year in a row. Football won back-to-back -back region titles, while softball won region as well. Even cross country made it to state, led by Jace Williams and Stephen Jones. We went through another hurricane, an eclipse, and saw stranger things for the first time. Our friendships solidified, and our athletics took off as the class of 2020 started to leave its mark. By the time junior year rolled around, it felt like high school had only just started. For most, junior year was the hardest part of high school. It was full of the toughest classes, but more importantly, some of the best memories. For the first time in high school history, boys basketball made a historic run to the state championship. Beta Club placed fourth at nationals under their sponsor, Miss Colley, and baseball even won first place in region. Our homecoming hallway beat the class of 2019s while football got the three-peat region title. But sadly, the class of 20 also went to our first and last prom. And of course, we went through another hurricane and the worst AP exams. As we waved the class of 2019 goodbye, it was finally our time to leave the school. But nobody could have predicted what was going to happen during our senior year. First, we raised over $5,000 in less than a year to lift Berkeley out of debt that the previous classes had built up. Then we swept Spirit Week, winning the best hallway, the best float, and the pep rally. But then it happened. The coronavirus might have ended our year early, but at least we had the biggest senior skip day in history. And on June 17th, as we walk across that stage, we will be the first and hopefully the only class to ever graduate during a pandemic. Even though we had to stay six feet apart, no class will ever be as close together as the class of 2020. Thank you. Please welcome Gracie Steele, the 2020 student body president. Good evening, and welcome to the class of 2020's virtual senior night. My name is Gracie Steele, and this year I had the pleasure of serving as your student body president. To my fellow seniors, this is not at all how I thought we would be seeing each other on our senior night. This is supposed to be one of the last times that we're all gathered together as a class, singing, singing the alma mater and hearing Principal Steele say, students today, leaders tomorrow, stags forever. But as we all know, the last part of our senior year has not been anything like what it was supposed to be. To our teachers and faculty, thank you for your four years of unconditional support. Whether it was in the classroom or on the field, your guidance is what allowed us to make the most of our four years here. And to our parents and families, thank you for your support, for showing up to games, matches, and award ceremonies. Without you, our past four years would not have been possible. I truly don't think any of our wildest dreams would have placed us here in this situation. Out of school since March, forced to stay six feet apart from each other while social distancing. Distant is something that this class has never been. We enjoy being together. In the student section, decorating the hallway that we won two years in a row, beating the class of 2019, and supporting each other in everything we do. We're involved, we're dedicated, and we get things done. Serving as your student body president has been the highest honor and the greatest pleasure. This year was full of successes, academic, athletic, extracurricular, but most importantly, we did it together. Distant is something that this class has never been, and for that, I am grateful. And finally, to my fellow seniors, 
thank you for giving this school your all for the past four years, for supporting each other, and for allowing myself and the other officers to make this senior year the best that it could have been. And with that, I wanna leave you with one final remark. G-O-O-D-J-O-B. Good job, good job, class of 2020. Please join me in welcoming our principal, Mr. Steven Steele. Class of 2020, this is Principal Steele. Thank you for being here tonight to watch this short video celebrating the class of 2020 here at Berkeley High School. While this school year has not gone by any plans of anybody that we can think of, it has gone by and we are coming to an end. As tradition, we have a senior night here at Berkeley High School. So tonight, we will be continuing that tradition by allowing you guys to have a video of the senior night. Many people have volunteered many hours for this, and we do appreciate every single person who sent in a video to be able to be recognized for tonight. Also, we would like to tell the moms and dads, the parents and grandparents, the close family and friends, thank you for all you've done for these seniors for their entire careers, but especially thank you for what you've done for the past few months. It's been a great challenge for those at home, at work, and around the world. At this time, I would like to say, class of 2020, with great tragedy, also comes great opportunity. For the first time in over 15 years, you will be returning to Bonner Stadium, Moody Field, to graduate. This links you even more so with the classes that came before you, and so it's a good time to remember that. For everybody who's coming here to graduation, I say welcome back to Berkeley High School. Good evening. It has been an honor to serve this year as your graduation coordinator and as your senior co-advisor. I am so proud of this class. You are truly the class that never quits a class that has been founded on adversity with pandemics, with floods, with a hurricane, with so many different things. And you have risen to every challenge class of 2020. And I'm so very proud to those of you that I know, to those of you that I've taught one year or two. I cannot wait to see what your future holds. I will see you at Bonner Stadium. I can't wait. I wake up and I roll out of bed. I glance at the clock. It's 8 a.m. May 27, 2040, the day of my 20th high school reunion. As a busy first grade teacher, I totally forgot that I was in charge of planning it. However, I'm so excited to see where all my classmates ended up and all the things they were able to accomplish. I get in the car and I turn on the radio to the Essence Adam radio show. I hear Mary Logan belting her number one new single. The radio broadcast interrupts though with a message from our president, Gracie Steele. Her message is about the compensation from the coronavirus to all the 2020 graduates. How nice of her. I arrived to the venue, which is beautifully decorated by Nora Broom, whose interior design company has really taken off. I met up with the past student government officers who has helped me plan this incredible reunion. I see Kylie Coldren, tired of being up all night with her 12 kids. Those preacher wives sure are crazy. Next up, I see Sebastian Lopez, who just got back from being the first man to walk on Mars with the help of Taylor Veneman and Madison Mobley, who also work at NASA. Jace Williams wasn't able to make it. He was too busy overseas serving some secret mission that not even the government knows about. We finish up setting up and start getting nervous about the turnout when all of our classmates start pouring in. First, I see Natalie Billups, who has had a very successful real estate business, selling homes to many celebrities. Damari Sinkler is next, who's a successful neonatal nurse. Shadesa Muscular walks in, widely known for her commitment to the community in building rehabilitation centers for drug addicts and giving to the less fortunate. Alex Nuke is widely known for his popular video games with his help of graphic design. Robert Bell grew up as a mechanic on his mini farm. Next up, Marshall Barron comes stumbling in, noticeably gaining a little weight since graduating high school as he is now a stay-at-home dad. Jed Hudson isn't too far behind him. A little tired from playing at a Major League Baseball game last night. Jeffrey Ziegler works for the same MLB team as a statistician keeping track of all of Jed's home runs. DeAndre Ferguson, recently into, inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame, enters with his fellow teammate Ja'Kai Willis, former Heinzman Trophy winner. Caitlin Christmas works alongside the NFL and MLB team players as a personal trainer, ensuring their health and safety. Brianna Mack is working hard as a successful entrepreneur. I get a call from Haley Baker, who informs us she won't be able to make it as she's hung up working as New York City's most successful attorney. Luke Hill walks in next, just having premiered his first movie on the red carpet. Along with Luke comes Kobe Morris, 
and several of our classmates come and congratulate him on winning the 2040 Major League Soccer Championship. Devin Daniels, Aaliyah Lopez, Cameron Gilliard, Jacoby Orr, and Ethan Pent enter the banquet hall immediately to be congratulated for their many years of service in the United States Armed Services. The reunion begins with Emmett Dangerfield IV giving the welcoming address. He makes sure to especially recognize all the healthcare workers who served during the pandemic that seemed to never end, including the nurses of the front line who worked at MUSC, Cheyenne Banak, Claire Brayton, Demaria Sinkler, Madison Zett, Diogene Templeman, Michaela Dupree, and Jayla Portia. Hunter Powers and Emily Bowers worked as nurse practitioners at MUSC, leading the other nurses in the fight against COVID. The pediatricians who worked with children alongside the nurses during the virus were Parker Adcox, Taylor Nixon, and Jaquez Cancer. Leslie Bryant also worked with children as a physician's assistant and Precious White practiced neurology. Arlie Johnson also worked at MUSC specializing in pediatric orthopedic surgery. Arlie works right alongside Sean Cruz, the cardiothoracic surgeon in the surgical unit. All of these healthcare providers sure represent Berkeley High well. Emmett gives a few more remarks before turning it over to Stephen Jones, who leads us into the reception. Stephen, who currently owns half of Wall Street and five NFL teams, leaves the reunion early to work on his money laundering team. I make my way around the venue to meet some more of my long lost friends. Shelby McCutcheon finally married Bryson Doty and works as a preschool special education teacher. Emily Robinson opened her own physical therapy practice that caters many different people and alongside her works Michaela Pierce as an occupational therapist. Together, the two of them are able to cover lots of different needs. Johnny Coster is still hunting and fishing. Lainey Sexton Pierce works as an FBI agent working on crimes against animals and crimes against children. Zoe Carson and Carmen Womble both work as cosmetologists, keeping everyone's hair in the latest style with Kiana Major's successful hair business supplying their salon. Jordan Kirkland is one of the nation's leading specialists in cybersecurity, working closely with Spay War in South Carolina. Next, I make my way to the cupcake table that was catered by Esnick Brown's Bake Shop. There, I see a lot more former classmates. Azaria Bryant owns her own veterinary care practice, providing the best pet care possible. Christian Brooks will still be driving a truck and living with his wife in their river house. Haley Harper became a successful forensic scientist for the FBI. Michaela Mann became a marine biologist and wrote a best-selling book. Brianna Davis works as a traveling OBGYN, and Kiara Gailyard also works as OBGYN, who travels with Dr. Davis as they practice together and help people all over the world. Kennedy Yance became a successful attorney in North Carolina who is never too busy to go rock climbing or skydiving whenever possible. Omar Shahid is a successful engineer happily married with children. Yulika Portia lives in Beverly Hills with her husband and they're both plastic surgeons for all of Hollywood's biggest stars. Samari Buefer owns multiple businesses and travels the world. Zoria Joseph became a successful orthodontist opening her own practice. Alina Elliott and Michaela Riggin work as dental hygienists at the practice with Zoria. Jordan Faison is living her best life in Texas, owning the state's most well-known law firm. Over by the punch bowl, I see my good friend Reese Glassoff who is now the mayor's trophy wife. Staying next to her is her best friend, Alyssa Morell. Alyssa is on the FBI's most wanted list for successfully hacking the U.S. government. Our conversation is interrupted when Cody Cloninger and Shelby Oskowski walk over the pair of to, Alyssa, to arrest Alyssa for her crimes. Cody is a very successful military officer and Shelby is the director of the FBI. On the stage performing are Stephen Cruz and Tyler Billard. Stephen is the lead worship pastor at Elevation Church and Tyler is a well-known guitarist. Blake Stetter, Caitlin Powers, Chris Carlisle, Chaya Simmons, and Gabrielle Schmidt are on the dance floor vibing to the music. Blake is proudly working at Boeing, still living in Monk's Corner and supporting the Berkeley Sags. Caitlin is working hard as a physical therapist, supported by her, her husband and two kids. Gabrielle is living in a beautiful home and working as a forensic lab technician. Chris and Chai are recurring judges on the show CHOP due to their experience in the culinary world. I make my way over to the photo booth and run into more Berkeley alumni. Rabiatu Sumundu is happily working as a dentist with two kids. Her schedule very busy from traveling the world. Madison Jones is working as a real estate mogul with a husband and, and beautiful children. Atisha Jenkins is following her dream of being a veterinarian, working at Monk's Corner's very own Lakeside Animal Hospital. Lindsay Keller is successfully working as a marketing director for Urban Outfitters 
and has four beautiful and tiny children. Haley Thompson is just now getting back from her 40th annual trip to Walt Disney World on her break from being a beloved high school math teacher. Sophia Riley has just finished traveling the world as a techie gypsy and owns a cat cafe in Brussels. John Arnold is old, fat, and sassy, serving looks in a, sol in a solid gold Gucci suit. Eleanor Wilson is teaching elementary education at BES and lives in a beautiful home on the river. Finally is Mary Claire Sherman, who lives in New York City with her millionaire husband and three kids, working as a genetic counselor. As the reunion comes to an end, we all think back on all of our high school memories together and reminisce on the memories we made as the best class Berkeley High has ever seen. Our four great years at dear old Berkeley High stay with us, even 20 years later, and even if we didn't end senior year the way we had planned, Students today, leaders tomorrow, stags forever. As our program comes to a close, I want to thank you for being a part and sharing a part of yourselves with us these last four years. The four years have gone by really fast. The next four will, the next 10 will, and you'll find yourself back at your high school reunion. I know now all you can see is your graduation, but just know that the time flies and we've been so fortunate to have spent it with you. Tonight has been wonderful to see all of your accomplishments, to see the kind words and hear the kind words said about you, and to just learn more about each of our students from different perspectives. You truly have been a blessing and an enjoyment class of 2020 that we will never forget. So tonight we say goodbye and we'll see you soon. Remember that you're a stag today, a stag tomorrow, a stag forever. If you would like, please join us at the link and go look at our slideshow where lots of things are on there with senior pictures, senior messages from parents and friends. Just a last look at a wonderful class. Good night, class of 2020.